Hello internet and welcome back to the most inquisitive channel on YouTube, Life's Biggest Questions. The place where we pride ourselves on being a prime resource for any hypothetical end of the world scenarios. What's going on guys? As per usual I'll be your disembodied floating voice Jack Finch as we once again head back to that fictional United States of America, hit the gym, load upon the weapons locker and invest our life savings in an impenetrable panic room and curiously ask the question, how could we survive the purge? Roll the clip. News 13 wishes anyone who is not participating in this year's purge a safe evening. And for those releasing the beast, a successful cleanse. Release the beast? Really? Who the hell approved that in the writer's room? Anyway, I digress. You guys know that we've covered the Purge franchise quite a lot here at LBQ. After all, love or hate the films and recently the TV series, but it poses a very apt question to the current state of our society. The term zeitgeist comes to mind, a German phrase which literally translates to spirit of the time. And well, I don't know if you've noticed, but things can get pretty scary and the Purge is at the culmination of those things. Stranger than fiction, right? Right, right? Well, here's our hypothetical guide to that theoretical survival. Before we jump into that though, you know the drill by now guys. If you're a fan of this video, the Purge franchise, the survival of the end of days, or just LBQ in general, then go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, as well as that subscribe bell so you can stay up to date with our latest and greatest uploads. Also, why don't you go ahead and share this video with your fellow survivalist, your state senator, or your own mother, because knowledge is power. On with the show. Though we've stretched the rules several times in our LBQ Purge series, the song remains the same when it comes to the nitty gritty. Under the 28th Amendment of the US Constitution, New Founding Fathers of America establishes one night a year for a populous purge, occurring on March 21st from 7pm to 7am the next day, where all crime is legal, including murder, and all police, fire, and medical emergency services remain unavailable for 12 hours. We're on our own, kids, so how do we stay alive? Let's start with option A, batten down the hatches. As we've seen from the film franchise, an entire industry is built upon home defence during those titular 12 hours, where you can bunker down, pour yourself a cup of tea, make yourself a microwave lasagna, and wait for the whole thing to blow over behind the safety of titanium plating, tungsten steel, and a much bigger bank balance than most of us could ever obtain. In the first Purge film, this is the tactic of the Sandin family, led by Ethan Hawke's character James Sandin, who's built a very lucrative career from installing highly advanced Purge security systems into wealthy people people's homes. And well, we know how that ends up, pretty badly. However, in our survival guide, this would be amongst the more efficient tactical moves that a survivor could make. There's a reason that the president has his own private bunker miles below the earth's surface, and there's a reason that James Sandin's company made so much money. For the most part, his security system works. So if you've got the cash, then batten down the hatches, and we'll see you in 12 hours. For option B, there's a more direct attempt at hiding, and it's pretty simple. Just leave the damn country. Remember when your parents told you to just remove yourself from the situation when conflict was arising? Well, yeah, take that advice when your government decides to hash out a mass extermination event once per year, because that's pretty indicative of a very short lifespan. Just like rats fleeing a sinking ship back in the colonial seafaring days, the same applies to the sinking ship of the United States. Talking of ships, if you own a ship, a boat, a yacht, a schooner, hell, even a dinghy, then get on it and keep paddling until you reach Cuba or Mexico or, wait, does the purge still apply to Hawaii? Now that's a film I'd want to see. But you get the picture. Even if you don't want to leave the United States permanently, if you're wealthy or fortunate enough to own a seafaring vessel, then your chances of survival will be much higher if you take to the ocean for a 12 hour relaxation session. Yes, granted there may be some slim chance of purge pirates, but the odds are slim and just grab yourself a rifle or two and I'm sure things will go swimmingly pardon the pun. In the same vein, if you own an airplane, then you probably already own a private yacht, but it's very important to note that it's much more difficult to keep an airplane in flight for 12 hours than it is a boat, so make sure you don't pick up the wrong keys in your pre-perch planning. If none of these options apply to you, then I hate to tell you that things are looking pretty bleak. That doesn't mean you can't take matters into your own hands though, no. Far from it, in fact. Option C is Go John Rambo. Now, this is the same application as any apocalyptic event, i.e. a large group of people want to kill you, where the best course of action is to be a survivalist, in the sense that the only indicative factor of your own survival are the choices that you make rather than someone else. As any expert will tell you, in an event like this, people equals bad. So your first priority would be to get out of any high population areas, preferably far before the purge alarm sounds. The more remote you are, 
are the higher the odds that you won't run into another human being and thus the chances of your survival skyrocket. If you were a real forward planner, you might even build yourself a base camp out in the boonies. I'm thinking electric fences, landmines, trip wires and floodlights and a nice little log cabin where you can read a book or watch an old movie while the rest of the nation fires ammunition at each other. It may seem simple to say but your best course of surviving the purge is to just stay far away from anyone insane enough who'd like to kill their fellow human being because their government told them it was okay to do so. There's a lesson in that, I think. Well, what do you guys think? What would be your plan to survive the purge? Got something cool up your sleeve? Let us know in the comment box down below. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for in today's video. If you enjoyed this purge play-by-play, -play, then leave us a thumbs up. And to continue on with your questioning binge, feel free to hit that playlist floating shortly above. As always, I've been your host, Jack Finch. You've been watching Life's Biggest Questions. And until next time, you take it easy.